Well, as a microbiologist, uh, looking and understanding, no doubt, uh, that conventional paradigm that requires a lot of time, uh, why does it require a lot of time? Is, does that bring us to the issue of mutations? The mechanism claimed to drive evolution is mutation, where we'll define mutation as a change in the nucleotide sequence of DNA. So the driving mechanism claimed for evolution is a mutation, and the natural selection looks and sees what effect that mutation had. Mm -hmm. And if it likes it, and this is giving, of course, a lot of power to natural selection it doesn't have, but if natural selection likes it, see, then that organism survives. If it doesn't like it, then that organism dies off. And then you do the next step, and you keep repeating that step over and over again. The idea being that somehow in that process, the fish who only breathes oxygen through water, who doesn't have legs, whose vision is based upon seeing through water, not seeing through air, somehow plops up on land and through these very slow processes, transforms its entire anatomy and physiology where it can breathe air, it can walk on land, and it can see in air. And so they see it as you give me enough time, mm -hmm. we can account for all of this. See, now it really doesn't, but time becomes one of those things to a human. Let's you know, yeah, it's almost like anything can happen given enough time. Mind gets fuzzy when you. Yes, <laughs> and they it. hide behind that fuzziness. Okay. Uh, it just took a long time. Somehow that becomes the magic wand. You know, a long time, poof, there it is. Mm -hmm. Forget the idea that there's no biological mechanism that accomplishes that. Time, poof, we got it. 